today we will talk about arithmetic and unary operators in java this is a very important topic so uh, let's uh, begin so before we talk begin talking about operators you need to know what an expression is so expression is basically like it says an expression which is built on combining variables and different type of mathematical operators or symbol in a certain way so uh, for example here x plus y is an expression here x and y are variables and plus is the operator since plus will be performing operation on both of these variables hence it's called an operator and here x and y are known as variables or uh, in programming terminology you can call them operands so you can you can use both of them but operands is preferred or variables any name you like but uh, what you need to know that here x and y are operands and this plus sign is operator or, or arithmetic operator since operator are of several types so plus is basically an arithmetic operator so uh, this is an expression and obviously it will produce a new result after it is done evaluating so moving on we have arithmetic operators so there are total of five arithmetic operators this one does addition subtraction multiplication and deviation as you have you are already familiar with them and the last one is the modulus operator we will also see modulus operator today in the code section okay let's talk about now unary operators so unary operators work on single operand or one variable so as as you saw before that for operators to work we needed we needed uh, two variables two or more variables at least two variables are required for any operation for example here we can have x plus y plus z but we will still need at least two operator two operands we can't do x plus or y plus because uh, it won't work we need at least two variables or operands for these operators to work but unary operators are a special case they work on a single variable for example in java if you like uh, if you write a plus plus what it will do it will increment the value of a by one so it is a unary operator so moving on we have operator precedence so imagine you have a big expression containing several variables and several operators like x plus y divided by z multiply a you get the idea so in that case you need an operator precedence so operator precedence tells us how your expression will be evaluated uh, the highest uh, precedence uh, uh, containing thing is uh, parentheses first of all parentheses are evaluated whatever is inside them and then these postfix increment uh, unary operators are evaluated for example for now you need to know that unary operators are evaluated first after parentheses and then after these operators uh, multiplication division and modulus are operated uh, are uh, or uh, are solved whichever comes first so if uh, from left to right they are operated from left to right so whichever comes first from these three will be evaluated first so then we have uh, addition and subtraction so whichever comes first will be evaluated first so imagine if you we have six plus five minus four so since plus is coming first it will be evaluated first 6 plus 5 will be evaluated first so uh, that's it for the slides portion so now we are going to take a look at the code portion so let's try uh, so first of all let's uh, declare three variables of integer data type so here we go so let's store a number into num1 
and a number into num2 so now both both these variables have a value so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna perform an operation on these two and store the result into the result variable so num1 plus num2 so what we are doing right now is we are taking num1 and num2 and then we are adding them and then their uh, result is getting stored into this variable called result so so uh, here num1 and num2 are operands and this plus symbol is an operator so this is an expression which after evaluation is giving a certain result which is getting stored into this result variable I remember you can use any names for your variables but it's better to use proper readable names which are relevant to your calculations so now let's try printing the value of results so we know whether we are right or wrong so that's one way to print the results so as you can see 11 is getting printed here so let's try one more why don't we change the operator to minus let's see what happens now so now we are getting result as negative 3 since 4 minus 7 will give you negative 3 so that's also done with uh, what i wanna show you now is the division operator that's a tricky one so let's divide 12 by 4 uh, let's divide it now so as you can see we are getting 3 here all well and good so let's try doing another calculation how about uh, 13 divided by 2 oops we are getting 6 so what is going on right now is an integer division. What we call this division is an integer division. So whatever program is doing, it is taking, it is dividing 13 by 2, but it is only taking the integer part of it. It is, it is completely ignoring it. So when this division takes place, it will ignore the 0.5. Since 13 divided by 2 is 6, 6.5, sorry, but uh, here it is only taking the integer part and storing it into this integer value so as you can see both ways an integer result will get produced here and it will be stored into an integer value remember uh, recall that i told you that these since these variables are integers so they will they will only store integers and only integers they have nothing to do with decimals or and so on so they will only store uh, in integers so uh, what you can do there are multiple solutions to this what you have to do first is uh, you can create make this variable double now now we have made our uh, variable double our result variable is now double so now whatever this expression will produce it will be stored as a decimal value since result is a double value variable and double only stores decimals no matter how the number is even if one is stored it will store it as 1.0 and even if zero is stored into this variable it will store it as, as 0, 0.0 since it's a double so let's run it now as you can see we are getting 6.0 uh, it is still not right the problem is not here now since we have solved this one this problem is solved but the main problem right, right now is here our as you can see our value is a double value decimal value so it can hold decimals but right here an integer division is taking place so you have to paths from here you can either make this double you can either make this both double now it will work too let's run the program 
so as you can see 6.5 is getting uh, uh, stored into this phase so what it is doing we are creating all these three variables as double so it will store 13.0 into num1 since uh, it's a double value and it will store 2.0 into num2 so uh, both of these numbers will be stored as a double so since double is getting divided by double it will produce a result that's also double and it will store it into a variable that's also double so as you can see that's how decimal values are stored so if these both for integer it will produce an integer result since so integer divided by integer produces an integer result this concept is very important you need to practice with it a lot so that's it uh, for for this part of our presentation for now uh, i'm gonna show you another, another solution to this let's keep this int so what i will do i will do an explicit casting it's like converting a data types so what i will do right here is i will write double now what will happen is when our pro, uh, control will come here it will create num1 double so what it is doing it is making 13 into 13.2 so sorry 13.0 and the this number will stay the same uh, too so now we are dividing double by an integer value uh, our result will get be also double since double uh, any operation perform between a decimal value and an integer value always produces a, a decimal value so i hope you also understand as you can see 6.5 is getting printed here what you can do is you can take uh, these numbers from the user so instead of giving it ourselves we can we can print a message to user to enter the first number as you will see here so what you, whatever user will enter we will store it into num1 variable i have already talked about user into inputs in detail so i don't need to explain this what we are doing we are using the next int function to obtain an integer from the user similarly you can print a message uh, for number two also so you have to store it into num2 so now it will take two numbers from the user storing it them into num1 and num2 respectively so in the result section we can do anything like num1 plus num2 let's add them for now and let's make the output a little nicer as you can as you know we can combine different things like first we can i can write the result the sum of and uh, now i am going to insert a variable here that's why I'm using the plus operator to connect this. Then I need a space and then I need another, another space here. Then I'm going to connect num2 here. And then I'm going to insert an equal sign. So whatever you will write in double quotation, it will be printed as it is on the screen. So here I will write the result. so now it is asking for our first number let's enter 14 and second is 22 so now it's giving us the sum of 14 and 22 which is 36 so, as you since you know our variable is result is double that's why it's giving a decimal value it's still equal to 36 just in a different format if you want result to be an integer what you have to do is just simply change this to integer so now 
now you can see a proper integer is getting printed here so one last thing i need to show you is the operator precedence so how it works is what value is evaluated first let's create a variable in res and let's do a bunch of operations like 4 plus 9 plus 5 divided by 2 multiply multiply 4 so let's try printing it and let's see what we get so now this is a big expression let's see what he get so we got 32 out of it let's see how we got this result from this expression so now let's see so our operators will be evaluated from left to right as i have told you before so first of all it will come to 4 it will ignore it since there is nothing to do with it then it will see the plus symbol then it will jump straight to parentheses so parentheses are evaluated first what it will do is it will evaluate this result so now we have this expression 4 plus uh, these parentheses are evaluated so now we have 4 plus 14 divided by 2 multiply 4 ok now now it will come here again and since it's plus it will ignore the plus since there are higher operators with higher precedence since uh, division and multiplication have higher precedence than plus that's why it will ignore it for now so what it will do it will since dvn is coming before multiplication that's why it will evaluate it will be evaluated first so 2 will be divided by 14 which equals 7 and then multiply 4 will come as it is i am breaking down it into steps for you to understand it better so what will happen now we just have these three variables and two operators left what it will do right it will again ignore the plus and it will multiply these since they have higher precedence which equals 28 7 multiplied by 4 and as you know 4 plus 28 equals 32 so here as you can see 32 is getting printed here and that's how we got to this result so I hope you understand this concept also how this works and remember I can replace these with variables for example instead of 4 I can write num and I can store 4 into num similarly instead of 9 I can write uh, num2 num2 and stored it into a variable oops now let's run it as you can see 33 32 is still getting printed so you can use variables or integers they work the numbers directly sorry they work the same way so one last thing i need to show you is the modulus operator and then we are done so let's uh, give num1 num14 and num22 so let's try run uh, seeing the modulus operator so let's uh, put 14 mod 2 let's see what we get we are getting 0 since if we divide 14 by 2 uh, sorry i need to replace this with num modulus num 2 so if we divide 14 by 2 our remainder will be 0 right you already know this our remainder will be 0 let's uh, try dividing 15 by 2 so as you can see 1 will be printed here since our reminder will be 1 also you need to know suppose uh, we are dividing 4 by 20 so we will it will 4 will get printed here so whenever the first number is smaller smaller than the second number it, it will be the modulus so it will come as it is so if first number is smaller then it is the modulus like 2 modulus 5 will always give you 2 also remember that modulus is always an integer value it will 
रिमाइंडर इज ऑलवेज एन इंटीजर सो डेट्स इट फॉर टूडे वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस मोर अबाउट दीज थिंग्स लेटर थैंक यू